Hi, I'm Tom Blevins at Texas Diabetes and Endocrinology, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about a medicine that's relatively new that we use to treat people with type 2 diabetes. Now, this is a pill. It's called the SGLT2 inhibitor class, and that's sodium glucose co-transporter to medicine. Let me tell you how it works. This is a medicine that actually causes the kidneys to release sugar. The kidneys typically, you know, they filter the blood, and when they filter the blood, sugar in the blood goes into the kidney. Well, normally that sugar gets pumped back into the blood. And if you have a high blood sugar, that's not such a good thing. So this medicine actually inhibits that, that pumping back into the blood, and it causes the sugar to go out in, in, the, in the urine. And so this is, a, this is a, essentially a medicine that makes the sugar go out in the urine. That's the way it works. We have a number of medicines that fit into this category. One is called Invocana, Farsiga, Jardiance, and then there's a new one called Steglatro. And there will probably be more of these. What do they do? How do they work? I mean, what, what, why do we use them? Well, clearly, if the sugar is pushed out into the urine, the blood sugar is lowered, and that's what we're trying to do in people with diabetes. It also can lower the blood pressure because it cause, causes some fluid loss, and, and it, ultimately, because it pushes sugar in the urine, it can cause calorie loss, which can lead to weight loss. These medicines have gotten some really interesting science behind them, and there's some really big studies now that show very clearly that these medicines can actually lower cardiovascular heart disease, other vascular risk. One of the drugs actually has been shown to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death in people who have known cardiovascular disease. And we're talking about heart disease and, and, and blood vessel disease, disease and things like that. Uh, some of the other ones have been shown to also reduce uh, what are called major cardiovascular events. And that would be things like non-fatal MI, that is heart attack, non-fatal heart attack, non-fatal stroke and then cardiovascular death. There's some interesting information that's developed that shows that these medicines may reduce the risk of heart failure in people with diabetes. And I'll tell you, people with type 2 diabetes have a high risk, higher risk of heart failure than the population who don't have diabetes. Also, there's some data that shows that these medicines may protect the kidneys. So this is a really interesting drug class, and, and we've used these medicines a great deal. Every medicine has a side effect. These medicines can increase the risk of, uh, of yeast infections in males and females. They can cause the blood pressure to drop too much, potentially, which would cause dizziness in people, and we have to watch out for that. Uh, they could cause a little bit of dehydration, which could make the kidney function worse at first. But as I mentioned, most of the data shows that they protect the kidneys. And then one has actually a warning regarding uh, amputation of, of lower extremity and toes and things like that. And, and so we have to be very cautious when using the medicines, but they can be very effective. I hope this information helps you understand the way these medicines work, their potential, their benefits, some of the science behind them, and also help you understand the risk of the medicine.